Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of All About the Cars of Gran Turismo 7. In this video we're going to learn all about the 1996 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4 GSR. Now this car is only available for purchase at the used car dealer on GT7 and if you aren't familiar with the used car dealer it rotates cars in and out of the dealership every day. So this car may or may not be available for purchase at the time that you watch this video but it will eventually rotate back in to being available for purchase again in the near future. So be sure to check back often for its availability. The car is currently selling for 42,300 credits. I'm going to click on the car and we'll start by going over some of its specs. First, this car comes stock with 478.61 performance points, has a four-wheel drive drivetrain, meaning that the engine is situated here at the front of the vehicle and it provides power to all four of the wheels. The maximum stock power is 273 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. The weight is just under 3,000 pounds, and the engine is turbo aspirated. Now we're going to click on Learn More and see what Andy has to say about this car. The Lancer Evolution is one of the most popular Japanese four-wheel drive sports cars ever produced. The fourth generation model, the Evolution 4, was developed during Mitsubishi's golden age of rallying. Its 4G3 engine, a turbo 2.0 liter inline 4, pumps out 276.1 horsepower, a voluntary limit adopted by Japanese manufacturers. The car features the company's first active yaw control system, or AYC, which electronically controls rear wheel torque. This innovation significantly improved the Lancer Evo's handling and made it a favorite among rally fans. All right, that's everything we've learned from the used car dealer, so we're going to back out to the main menu now and go to the garage where I'll get into this car and we'll learn some more about it. So here at the garage, I already have this car active, but we are going to uh, switch off of it real quick and then go back to it. Now we'll just click on another car here and then we're going to go back to it so we can listen to the engine startup sound. And from there, we'll learn some more about it. So here we go. All right, we're going to click on Car Collection, go to this vehicle, and we'll learn some more by reading this short description about it. The 4th Gen Evo's handling got a boost from electronic active yaw control and power now up to 276.1 horsepower. The Lancer Evolution took a major leap forward in August of 1996 with the Evo 4. It completely redefined the model, starting with the 4G63 power plant which was flipped around 180 degrees in the engine bay and output was raised to 276.1 horsepower and 260.4 foot-pound of torque. But perhaps the noteworthy change was the introduction of the electronically controlled AYC, or active yaw control, that replaced the mechanical LSD of previous models. Building on the success of the Evo 4, the Evo 5 appeared in January of 1998 with a slightly enlarged body to meet WRC specifications. The Evo 5 had more torque than its predecessor, rated, at, rated to 274.9 foot-pound of torque, and came with a new helical LSD for the front differential. In January of 1999, Mitsubishi introduced the Evo 6. While the car looked basically the same as the Evo 5, there were significant differences under the sheet metal, including a refined engine and retuned suspension system. In January of 2000, the first anniversary model was offered, as well as another special model that commemorated Tommy Mackinnon's four consecutive WRC championships. This special edition model, limited to only 2,500 units, featured a large front spoiler, a revised suspension stroke, and quicker steering, among other things. It proved to be the final and ultimate example of the truly groundbreaking second-generation Lancer Evolution. So lots of great information about this car from Gran Turismo's description. Now we're going to back out to the main menu once again and go next door to the cafe where we'll see if anybody's here to talk to us about this car. And we have no one here for this particular car. If they were here, they'd be next to this trophies icon. But not to worry, we're going to make one final stop at the tuning shop where I'll show you everything that can be done to improve this car's performance and power. So here at the tuning shop, I have not done anything to this car to upgrade it, but I will show you everything that can be done to it. Under the sports category, everything on this page is available for purchase. 
Under Club Sports, you cannot add the high compression pistons, but everything else on this page is available and can be added to this car. Under Semi Racing, you cannot add the supercharger, but everything else on this page is fair game, including the low, medium, and high RPM turbochargers. Under the Racing category, you cannot add the supercharger, the fourth stage weight reduction, or the active LSD controller, but everything else on this page, which is a substantial amount, can be added to this car and is available for purchase. All right, that's everything we can learn about this car from Gran Turismo 7. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you to determine whether or not you'd like to add this car to your collection. Stay tuned for more videos highlighting all of the cars of Gran Turismo 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.